Just as you thought the police couldn't sink to a newer low other than assaulting protesters, they decided to go after journalists that are recording the situation to hopefully hold these police officers that have no name tag or identifiers accountable for their actions. She was just reporting at the front lines, and she is clearly braver than any of them are. She was assaulted with batons, she was hit with a gas canister point blank in the leg, and for some reason, nobody's reporting on the fact that the police are assaulting people un un unjustifiably. Sorry, I'm just so angry at the moment. <laughs> so why don't we take a look at what actually went down here? Because there's quite a few things that kind of give you an insight to how peaceful these protesters truly are. So why don't we take a look? So this is Rebel News reporter Alexa Lavoie being hit with a baton once so far. It did happen two other times. Oh, and as you can see, right here, this is proof enough that all these protesters want is to be heard. Because if this was a violent protest, there would have been a dog pile for that taser. But not a single person even bent down to try. Not a single person even had it in their mind that they want to hurt anyone. But you can see here, nobody went for it. And the police were able to peacefully grab it, regardless of the situation that they're putting themselves into. It just proves there is no violence. <laughs> Three assaults right there. She just got shot point blank with the canister, hence the scream of pain. The police should be ashamed. No freedoms for citizens, no freedoms for journalism. This is a dictatorship. This is the first steps. Justin Trudeau better grow that toothbrush mustache to start matching his personality. The cries of pain aren't from the gas. They're from the impact of that smoke grenade. Oh my god. What is it? It burns? The pain she suffered just to cover what the new mainstream media wouldn't is is heroic in my mind. Can you undo the button? Really hard. Got it. Got it. Got it. Cream? Is it burning? Is that what it is? Take it off. You got pants underneath? Lay down, lay down. She is a trooper. And just to show you what I mean, take a look at this police officer. Look where they're aiming. This wasn't a misfire. Look at the direction in which they are aiming the gun and have fired. In this one, you can see she's still looking in the same place as it goes off. This person maliciously went out of their way to hit that person in the leg with their riot gun. This was not an accidental discharge, not in the slightest. She may have tried to shoot between her legs, does not matter. She did this on purpose. And the fucked up thing is nobody on mainstream media is talking about this or pushing any kind of narrative that these police officers need to be investigated. They have to be. And if you're wondering what kind of injury she got, this is the welt from that rocket in, or the grenade impact right into her leg. Now, the trooper that she is, she is still out there today covering everything going on. This person is a better journalist than anybody I've ever seen from mainstream media. She actually stands for something while every single other person bends the knee to the will of the rich. To the will of the powerful. It's really disturbing to see. But nobody will talk about the fact that nobody goes for the taser. Nobody will talk about the fact that nobody's assaulting the police, even though the police are assaulting everyone. They aren't doing this politely because they know there's no identifiers on them. They're going out of their way to be malicious. Out of their way. 
And if you want me to go a little bit more in depth with it, I do have some messages that I will be going through that is being sent between their uh, between most of those police officers in a WhatsApp conversation that really shows where they're standing. Anyways, guys, I will see you all next time where I cover some more of this. Godspeed, everybody. And may we be the true North strong and free yet again. Love you guys. Bye-bye.